Okay, so this is a, well, it's just current prototype um, in the middle of iteration development. But this is just a walkthrough of how this gun works. Haven't got all the springs in place, haven't got all the stoppers. I've got a few of the springs and stuff, but um, not everything. <clears throat> so, uh, but I'll talk you through the general principle of this gun. Um, so, over here, you've got this, which is like, it's a drum essentially. Um, but in the actual gun, you won't be able to access this. You don't change um, drums, anything. It's All it is is a transfer medium um, from the magazine into the uh, drum. But what this allows you to do is uh, have a really, really long barrel uh, for the actual length of the gun. If you think about a proper semi-automatic uh, rifle, you've, you've actually got three times the length of the cartridge at least it's usually way more than that but at least three times the length of the cartridge uh, behind before you actually get to the barrel um with this you have one so it's far shorter you can get a much longer barrel longer uh, faster traveling bullet um there are probably other other advantages to it i'm not too sure yet um but this is the current system it's in um, chamber for nine millimeter parabellum I could theoretically use this for any rimless um, ammunition. Now I haven't got the back on, haven't got the firing pin, but or anything like that. Um, but it, it should all be held in place. So the easiest way for me to show you the way that everything works is for me if I do a uh, cross-sectional view, which we go to now. Um, Bob, your uncle, finds you up. Okay, and I'll go into it like this so for this system um, uh, you've got your you've got your chambered bullet up top here okay or chambered round with a bullet in up top here um, and you've got your barrel and it's it's a similar system to the pank or jackhammer um, in the way that this this barrel actually reciprocates it moves forward and then moves back um, and you'll see the reason for that in a second um, but what it also has is it has a full through gas port to a gas piston so it has both reciprocating barrel and a gas piston so i mean a disadvantage of this it might take a decent amount of the gas off and slow the bullet down i don't know yet that's what i'm testing for um, i might even play around with putting a muzzle brake on the on the um, front of the barrel instead of having this pank or jackhammer system to just to, literally just to move the barrel forward it might be a better system actually um, but yeah obviously firing pin firing pin hits and the explosive explosion happens bullets traveling down the barrel um, all that this is as a prototype remember the barrel's going to be probably rifled and whatever Bullets traveling down, bullets traveling down, picking up speed, picking up speed. Then it gets past our gas port. Um, and I'll go back to that in a second. Bullet shoots out the barrel. But when the when the bullet passed our gas port here, um, our gas traveled down into here. And now what it's actually going to do is it's not going to go in and move the barrel just yet. The gas is going to go down into here. And then we have our, our piston, our gas rod, our piston here, gas piston. And this gas piston is then reciprocated by that expanding gas, um, which then moves this linkage, which then moves this little, uh, well, I call it a feeder. I don't really know what else to call it, to be honest. Um, so you can see with this, um, let me just set up the move in solid book so I can actually show you this properly. Um, one second. These components. Uh, and the last one, second. There we go. Okay, so um, what's going to happen here is our um, piston is going to be reciprocated by that expanding gas. Okay, um, so you can see as this piston is moving backwards, our piece over here, our feeder is moving into the magazine. It is pushing the first round um, by the nose this is and feeding it out into this slot which then subsequently ejects the previous cartridge which the spent cartridge which is in here 
pushes back down like that. Perfect. Sorry, overshot a little bit there. Push down like that. This spent round then goes flying out the bottom. It'll come out somewhere like there. Um, so the ejections are there. And then we're in this max extended mode and there'll be a, a buffer there. There'll be a stop to make sure that this uh, piston doesn't go any further. So that uh, this end here doesn't go any further um, than, than this. What's that now? Um, so then there's still gonna be some expanding gas left in the system. And then what that's going to do is it's going to, uh, there's a, and then you have this vent here, like the Pancor jackhammer, as I said before, which is going to push back on this spring, um, push back to about that point. And as you see, as we, uh, we move back here, we move the barrel out of this uh, chamfer. Um, and perfect mode. So that compresses the spring as such. Then um, we're going to be probably completely out of this expanded gas by now. Um, but what happens is this drum has a, uh, an engraving into it, a groove system, very similar to the uh, Webley Fosbury um, system which will iteratively move us onto the next round, essentially rotate the drum. Haven't got that in yet. Um, so the barrel moves backwards, it moves out the way, iterates the drum round, and then what happens is, because of that spring pressure from before, um, our arrow will be pushed back into place, just there, there'll be a stopper and stuff there. Um, onto this next round there, okay? Um, so it will look something of the sort like this. And it looks something like this. So then it's chained with the next round. Um, and also in this time, this piston has retracted backwards like, um, like such. And the next spent round, which will be here, will have gone round into this position from before. Um, so we'll, and then the next round from the, the magazine will come up here, and the next spent round will come round, and we'll be set up just like before. And then we keep on going, essentially. Um, firing bin hits, etc., etc. But what this does is you, you can see the actual length of barrel compared to the entire length of the gun is utterly absurd. Um, but yeah, just that's how this system works. Probably not the best exp explanation, um, but yeah, there you go.